Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Saturday, July 22nd, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with WWE SmackDown aired live last night on FS1 from the Amway Arena in Orlando, Florida. In the final segment, Roman Reigns accepted the challenge of Jey Uso for an Anything Goes Tribal Combat match at SummerSlam in which both his WWE Universal title and his status as Tribal Chief will be on the line. We don't need no contract. Because the contract is in the blood. This right here, this is Tribal Combat now. Following their exchange, Jay Super kicked Solo Sokoa before both Sokoa and Reigns left the ring. Just prior to that segment, Dominic Mysterio defended his newly won NXT North American title, pinning Butch following outside interference from Rhea Ripley. Cool. And Butch with a kick to Dominic. North American Championship match continues. And Rhea Ripley gets involved yet again. Drive by attack. And Dominic. Is gonna cover Butch, hook of the leg, and Dominic retains. In other results, Santos Escobar pinned U.S. champion Austin Theory in a non title match. Rey Mysterio won a four way U.S. title invitational match against Cameron Grimes, Sheamus, and L.A. Knight, and Charlotte Flair pinned EO Sky. Following Flair's victory, she was attacked by WWE Women's Champion Asuka. Ring of Honor presented the 21st annual Death Before Dishonor last night, live on pay-per-view from the Cure Insurance Arena in Trenton, New Jersey. In the main event, Athena made her 12th successful defense of the ROH World Women's Championship, defeating Willow Nightingale by referee stoppage. The match marked the first time in which a women's match main evented a Ring of Honor pay-per-view in the company's 21-year history. Just prior to that match, Claudio Castagnoli retained the ROH World Heavyweight title, scoring a victory over Pac, thanks in part to a distraction from Wheeler Yuta. Pac was the third potential challenger announced for the match, with the original Eddie Kingston pulling out to take part in New Japan's G1 Climax tournament, and his replacement Mark Briscoe bowing out due to a knee injury. The evening's one title change took place when Aussie Open captured the ROH World Tag Team Championship in a four-way match with Best Friends, The Kingdom, and previous champions, the Lucha Brothers. Aussie Open spoke backstage following their title victory. Oi, oi, if you're surprised by tonight's result, you haven't been paying attention to what Aussie Open's about. It's been a hot minute since you've seen Kyle Fletcher and Mark Davis. Aussie Open in a ring of honor ring, but it did not take long for us to get back to doing what we do best, and that's collecting gold. We have collected championships everywhere we've gone, and now ring of honor is no different. And the thing is, we ain't stopping here, and we will not stop until we run the whole mother freaking world. Crowns up. Also retaining their titles at Death Before Dishonor were World TV Champion Samoa Joe, who defeated Dalton Castle, Pure Champion Katsuyori Shibata, who beat Daniel Garcia, and World Six-Man Tag Champs The Mogul Embassy, who bested the team of Raisuke Taguchi, Leon Ruffin, and Master Wato. In other results, the Dark Order beat the Righteous in a Fight Without Honor match that incorporated barbed wire, tables, thumbtacks, Legos, and a ladder, and Gravity scored a surprise win over Commander in the opener. In Japan, the fifth day of New Japan Pro Wrestling's 33rd annual G1 Climax tournament took place yesterday in Nagaoka, Japan. Victorious and Block A matches were IWGP World Champion Sonata, Kaito Kiyomiya, Chase Owens, and Gabe Kidd. Sonata leads Block A with six points. Winning their Block B matches were Kazuchika Okada, Will Ospreay, The Great Okan, and Yoshihashi. Okada leads Block B with six points. The sixth day of the G1 Climax is scheduled for tomorrow in Nagano, Japan. AEW presented Rampage last night on TNT, featuring matches taped last Wednesday night at the TD Bank Arena in Boston. In the main event, Chris Statlander made her fifth successful defense of the TBS Championship, defeating Marina Shafir. Oh, dodged a big high kick there. Boom! Statlander! Discus, Larian on target. This could be the end of it here. 
Chris Stadlander with Marina Shafir. Inverted Friday night fever. One, two, three. It's a freaky Friday here. The winner of this match. And still, TB is champion, Chris Stadlander. Statlander's previous four challengers include Nyla Rose, Anna J, Lady Frost, and Taya Valkyrie. In other results, Billy Gunn and the Acclaim beat Aaron Solo, Johnny TV, and QT Marshall of QTV, and Darby Allen won a 20-man battle royal to determine the number one contender to Luchasaurus's TNT Championship, last eliminating Swerve Strickland. Darby! Darby! Swerve hit first! Darby went through the ropes! He didn't go over the ropes! Good call! Is your winner, Darby Allen! Darby Allen! With the words, nothing's over until you're underground, tattooed on his body. Wow. Boy, did he live up to that tonight, winning the Royal Rampage, earning a shot at the TNT Championship at All Out on Sunday, September 3rd. And here you see Darby the Tope through the ropes very clearly. Swerve Strickland's feet touch the ground. Darby Allen, your winner. In Major League Wrestling news, Sam Adonis has parted ways with MLW, according to a Twitter post yesterday from Adonis. According to a WrestleZone report, Adonis's contract with MLW extended until October, but that both he and the company made the mutual decision to end their relationship three months early. Adonis did acknowledge that he would be open to one day returning to MLW, where he's been making appearances since his contract began in October of last year. And before we leave you today, We'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The wrestling news is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the wrestling newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.